Now it is man. This is bad. It's man and they're... Oh, God. Get it. Oh, he snagged it, dude. That's CD. That is CD. What was that snack? Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be doing a rebuild here with the updated rosters and uh, rounds one through three of the draft. I did want to get a rebuild out before the draft ended. I know the last rounds are on today, but I mean, I figured Dallas had a pretty decent first couple rounds and I just had to see CD with Amari, dude. I had to. So this is going to be my first rebuild with the... Uh, Updated drafts and rosters at the same time. So it should be fun. Offensive lines there. So they obviously went after CD in the draft. Franchise tagged Dak. The thing I see here that's going to be a problem is we're going to have to pay everybody. And we're not going to have great cap at all. Alden Smith here coming back. Travon Diggs with that hidden development. I definitely want him to be like... At least my number two guy just to get some snaps. Because I feel like he can be somebody good. They also got Gallimore. Who only is 66 overall. But he has pretty decent block shed. So I'm going to have him be one of my pass rushers. I mean we should get after the quarterback with Dallas here. Linebackers obviously still pretty good. Sean Lee's coming back for one more year for him. Uh, yeah, I like where Dallas is at, especially after going after CD to pair with Amari. That's insane, dude. It really is. Then we have Gallup here for the third. What is CD's stats? It is going to get a little weird. We're not going to get a whole lot of hidden development stuff because, uh, when you import, like, players, I, I don't think it gives them the hidden development. So, he was just a straight-up superstar. So, I guess it's nice to know right off the bat what he is. Um... Pretty decent stats, a little low in the speed for my liking, but he has decent catch and traffic, nice agility. Um, I definitely feel like we're going to be somebody. I mean, it's usually a fight, though, in the NFC East, if we're being honest, but we got to make the playoffs. That's going to be our season goal. We got to make the freaking playoffs, and are we going to be able to sign Dak? We're going to see it mid-season, because we'll see how hefty of a contract he's asking for. All right, so we're here at mid-season, and we do have some players to re-sign if we want. Alden Smith wants a contract. Resign. That's going to be a no. Antoine Woods, again, I don't really want to bring him back, because we do have a younger guy that we just drafted there. Blake Jarwin, I just don't think he's going to be that number one tight end I'm looking for. So really, I, I, I don't want to bring back anybody, to be honest. I'm going to let everybody test here. And we'll just get to the end of the season. I'm hoping freaking CD and Amari just had monster years. Oh man, things are going to heat up real freaking quick, dude. First playoff game, wild card at Philly? What are we talking about here? 11-5 and five Philly. We finished 10 and 6, so they barely beat us out for the division, which is tough. Um, let's go ahead and check out the stats for the year. See how we did. 16th in offensive yards. Defensive yards, we go 5th in, which is nice. Yearly awards. Russell Wilson wins MVP. This is kind of going to show us, too, like what it's looking like after the draft. Get a little peek in there. Dak comes in at 10 for MVP race. Offensive player of the year goes to Russell. Dax in there. Is Elliott not in there? Because it looked like he had a monster year, dude. Lawrence is in there. Offensive rookie. Okay, Joe. Yeah, it's going to get a little weird because some of these guys are considered rookies still. Defensive rookie. Oh, as I say, as Simmons wins it. Okay, we didn't have anybody in there, which is unfortunate, but let's go ahead and check out the stats. Only about 3,400 yards for Dak, which is low, but considering, you know, they're probably... Well, they did air it out the year before, but you'd like to probably see the team go through LA, but I don't know when they have CD and Amari. Nice touchdown to INT ratio, 34 to 9, 73% completion rate. Only about 200 yards a game, but Elliot, I think, ran it well. Yeah. When Elliot's running it like that, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Because he ran it 326 times. Still averaged 4.7 yards a carry, 1,500 yards. 
12 touchdowns. That's too much, dude. That's too much. Receiving. Oh, okay. CD and Amari basically have nearly identical years. CD gets more touchdowns and averages more yards per reception, but those are good years by both of them. Especially because both of them are nasty. Blake Jarwin gets seven TDs. Michael Gallup gets six. Not many yards. Elliott, not much in the receiving game. Blocking, probably... Oh, wow. Leo Collins allowed ten sacks. Zach Martin, seven? Okay, dude. My elite of elite O-linemen are going to allow these. 114 tackles by Smith. 103 by Vander Esk. 96 by Trevon Diggs. What did Trevon Diggs end up being? He has seven upgrade points, dude. It was still hidden. Oh, is it glitched? Yeah, it might be glitched for him. We'll have to deal with that. But either way, he has seven upgrade points. I'd say that's a win. 14 sacks by Demarcus Lawrence. Seven by McCoy. Ooh, Neville Gilmore here. Comes in and gives a six and a half, which I was hoping for. So that shows me him and McCoy should be able to go together for at least another year or two. How many upgrade points did he get? Four? Okay. Could have been better. Again, these are his stats. Not insane, but I mean, with four, he should be decent. Alden Smith, five and a half picks. We get two by Diggs, two by Awuzie. To be honest, I feel like Diggs can replace uh, Byron Jones. Two picks by Xavier Woods. Couple of one bombs here. All right, so decent year. Did enough to get into the playoffs. Let's go ahead and see what we can do in the playoffs, though. Against Philly. Not going to play anything. You know, we'll just simulate and see what they can do. We don't need to hop in. I mean, it's year one. If we lose, we lose, bro. So, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, we get past Philly. 21-17. to I'm just not hopping in because I don't want to end it if we win it in year one like I've done before. 13-3 Packers. What are we going to do? Okay, the road ends there. Is that another loss at the hands of freaking Aaron Rodgers? Why can't... Is that like... Oh, God. For the Cowboys, that's got to be a tough one. I mean, it's got to be a tough one, right? It's got to... We had Donovan Peoples-Jones on our practice squad? Really? Well, yeah, I'd assigned him too, dude. But uh, we get a loss at the hand of Aaron Rodgers. That's a tough one, but hey, it's year one. It's year one. We got room to improve. And we looked pretty nice the first year. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward. All right, guys. I honestly think this might be the worst free agency period I've ever seen. I mean, the highest overall person's an 80 overall. And it's Zach Pascal, dude. Okay, I mean, he does have superstar development, spin cycle, ratings. Okay, um... He doesn't even have great spin move to have spin cycle, which is a little weird. But yeah, not a great free agency period, which is a little weird, definitely. I was hoping to make some big signings this offseason, but yeah, I guess it might be worth just saving up the money because I don't really want to bring anybody in. I was looking to bring maybe a superstar in, maybe something like that, but not much here right now. So I guess we'll just turn to the draft, see if we can hit on some gems. And this is kind of cool, too, because we're going to get our first uh, time where we're, our first draft class is going to be the 2021 draft class. So right off the bat, we're going to have Trevor Lawrence in this draft class. Obviously, probably taken off the board already. <sighs> oh, my God. I can't pass on that. I can't pass on that. KJ Henry to pair with Demarcus Lawrence? We just lost Alden Smith. Offense is looking nice. I got to take you, KJ. I got to take you, KJ. 8th overall in true talent, 26th we drafted him at, so we get a steal, get him 18 spots higher, my god, what? he's always a monster, and his stats always seem to change a little bit too, which I like, they're not always the same, so I definitely like it, and he's a monster, to pair with freaking Demarcus Lawrence, yeah, we, we just got a natty D-line building, dude. So with Gallup's contract coming near an end, I really want to address wide receiver just so we have our three wideouts right off the bat. So because we have Amari, obviously we're going to keep CD. We should be able to lock him down for five years without paying him since he was a rookie coming in. 
But uh, we, we do need another receiver. I don't want to have to pay Gallup when the time comes. So I, I think we have to pick between Randall St. Felix here or Jamar Chase. Obviously, I do want that deep threat, but we do have a deep threat in CD and Amari. So what do we want here? I really want somebody that's going to be a really nice slot guy for me. And to be honest, this route runner slot guy looks really nice. He has nice release, good route running. That's what you want for a slot guy. Hopefully good catch in traffic. 74 overall, all right. We're in there, we're in there. Okay, not good catch in traffic, but really good route running. So he should be able to run routes with the best of them and work on that catch in traffic. He's definitely going to be a slot guy for us. Yes, my tight end's still available. I was waiting on this guy. So we need a tight end. Um, oh, that's tough to pass on though. Jake Ferguson, he doesn't have that B plus catch in traffic. He's got decent stats, so I still can't pass on Tusker Fisk here. You know, that's a name right there. That's a name, Tusker Fisk. We're going to take you, though. You got B-plus catch in traffic. That's what I want for my tight ends. 6'4". I reached a little bit, but what's his stats? Solid catching. Definitely not... I, when I see B-plus catching, I'm thinking about 87, 86 is catching traffic. Not 80. Not 80. But uh, it's a decent tight end, at least uh, normal development. Okay, that's tough. All right, and with the last pick I show you guys here, let's make it a good one. Let's make it a really nice one, dude. So I guess we don't have a center at the moment. Um, I guess he retired or something, which isn't good. I've never seen that with Dallas, where your center will just straight up retire. Um... Well, now we have to address that. I guess I'll just take a guard. Hopefully it works out. And it doesn't. Well, I mean, it could. He could end up being somebody. We never know, but that's going to do it. I have to check out and see if this center thing is real because we just had a center last year. And I'm not, I didn't think he retired, but I'll check this out and see you guys at the start of year two. I mean, if he retired, that's going to set us back. Pretty big. All right, so before we hop into year two here, actually someone commented on one of my other rebuilds and said like I added an X factor onto somebody, but I never do that. I usually go out of my way to make sure you guys see the person earn the X factor. So here I'll show you guys. Elliot didn't have an X factor when we started the rebuild, so he was down to a superstar. Now he's returned to an X factor, and I'll show you where he got that. So right there, Super Bowl week, he NFL rushing yards leader, RB of the year. And then development trait increased right there. So that gets him the superstar X-Factor dev trait. So, nope, I'm not adding him on, guy. Whoever said that, all right? I'm not adding him on. Um, But this is what the roster's looking like. So I threw Gallup up on the trade block, I believe. Yeah, he's on the trade block. Um, I mean, we just don't need him right now. I like Felix. I, I like CD Lamb after he upgraded up to an 84 overall. He's got matchup nightmare now. <sighs> 92 catch in traffic, dude. Oh my god. Uh, he must have got some monster upgrades. Yeah, we did lose our center, so we're going to have to move McGovern over there. It's not the best case scenario, but I wasn't planning on losing Frederick so early on. I've, n I I I've never seen him retire that early. Defensively, though, I'm super hyped for this D-line. Look at KJ to pair with freaking Lawrence. Then you got Galmore up the middle. Trevon Diggs upgraded well. Up to a 78 overall in one year. 85 man. And like a little more speed, but it's aight. Linebackers. They're still there. Sean Lee is getting old, though. He's getting old. So we are going to have to look at that position sooner than later. Safeties are good for the moment, but again, I just think... Sooner rather than later, we're going to have to replace some of this stuff. Okay, that's going to do it for year two here. I'm liking the way we look. I really am. We did make a few changes, but I mean, I think for the better, to be honest. I think for the better. So we're going to set our season goal. I, we made the playoffs the first year. I think we're definitely a playoff contender. Hold up. Did we get any trade offers for Gallup? Because his contract is coming up, and I don't want to pay that. I mean, that's value. I mean, we get a third-round pick this year. 
I'm looking for 2021 picks, not 2022. Okay, nope, I'm not looking for 20... Oh, wow, though. If they're willing to give up a freaking first? Green Bay, really? I mean, if you want Gallup that bad, Green Bay, and you're willing to give up a first for it, I, I mean, who am I to argue, you know? Who am I to argue about it? I'm doing it. I mean, we're, we get a first-round pick for Gallup. I can't even say it was cheesing either because it, it was just a trade block. You can't get cheesed on the trade block. Um, so, Green Bay gives us a first for Gallup. I'll take it. Probably not a great decision on their part. But, hey, we've gotten roasted by him so many times. Well, the Dallas has. That I think we can get one in. I think we can get one in. Man, it's just been this mad where corners have started to want to get paid. And these guys want paid now. Like, this cornerback wants 9 mil. It's pretty decent, though. I mean, he's really decent. He's got the speed. He just needs to work on that man coverage a bit. 84 overall. That's going to be tough to let go, to be honest with you. He's got an upgrade point already. I really would love to keep him only at 25. That's a deal, though, dude. It's only an 84 overall. Mm, that's, that's big money. But I, I say we do it. I say we do it. So we bring back him. Xavier Woods, 79 overall. Ooh, wow. We're getting him on a steal? So, yeah, we're going to bring him back. He only wants 1.9 mil a year. That's a steal. Wherever you can get steals, you got to take it. His cap is so valuable. We're going to have to let Jordan Lewis go. We can't bring back everybody. Maurice Candy, Trevon Dick. What? See, that's tough. When you... Uh, the roster thing, when you get the players like I downloaded from the draft... They don't, the contracts don't stay there, so you have to resign them way earlier than I'd like to. So, Trevon Diggs once signed already, dude. I guess it's not a horrible deal, but still, we shouldn't have to sign them already. Okay, and we're gonna have to increase that, so we're gonna have to get that signed. We'll let everybody else test here. Uh, that's tough. That's tough. And it seems like we fall apart every time at the second half of the year. We were six and two at the midseason mark, and then lost four of our last eight. That's never what you want to see. I guess we're playing in the wild card again, bro. Might play some moments. Might get some moments up in here. I, 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 I just want to play with this offense, to be honest with you. I want to. I mean, who wouldn't? Look at it. We get five upgrade points for Felix, which is nice. Four for our tight end. Defensively. Ooh, six by Gallimore. Henry with four, it is an X-Factor, dude. What X-Factor is he? It's glitched out. But he is a fear mongerer. Oh, yeah, it's glitched. Um, But he's a fear monger. He is a fear mongerer to go along with an unstoppable force. That's what I want to see, dude. We must have had a really good year. Won the division. Okay. Oh, my. What's going on with Dak in the yards, dude? I know we run it a lot, but what, come on, 3,300? 24 to 8, again, a pretty decent INT ratio, 4 to 1. 71% completions. Oh my god, Elliot, what is that? That's insanity. Is that, is that real? Dude, 6.0 average, 1,776 yards, 15 TDs. Oh, yeah, and don't even mind the other touchdowns the other running backs are adding in. And Dak. Dude, we rushed for well over 2,000 yards. Easily. Amari gets 65, 804, average at 13.5 yards a grab. Tight end? Okay, he did pretty good. 71, 608. CD, 56, 604. Bit low for him, to be honest. Felix, 40. 406, but again, Dak's not throwing for a whole lot of yards. We're a running team. Keep that in mind. Elliot gets his fair share. I'd still like to see him get a lot more receptions than that. Sacks. 12 sacks allowed by our guard? No. Hey, no. That can't happen. 112 by Smith. 103 by the Wolf Hunter. Sacks. We get 9 by... Lo wow, I would hope for more. We only get 9 by Lawrence, 6.5 by Henry, 5.5 by Gallimore, 3 by him. Alright, picks, what do we get? 4 by Smith, 2 by Lewis, 
A couple of one bombs. I mean, hey, we in the playoffs. We in the playoffs up in here. We in the playoffs up in here. I know we're only in year two, but I really want to play with this offense with CD Amari. I got to, dude. I got to. We'll probably just play the offensive moments. Well, we'll probably just play offense and let our defense do what they got to do, but we're playing offense. Well, I mean, they're giving us a real freaking tough game to start. Are you insane? They're giving us San Fran. All right. There we go, CD. There we go, CD. Let's go. Amari on Richard Sherman. That's a matchup, dude. That's a matchup, dude. That's our tight end just winning that route like nothing. Who is that on, dude? We got a touchdown. If that's on target, CD. You can't drop that, CD. No. Hey, oh, my God. No, please, no. Well, that's really bad, and they're blitzing, and we're going play action, you know? We're, we're just hoping. We're just hoping. Well, I was hoping my offense could block, to be honest. Oh, man, there's, like, nothing I can do here. They're, they're, they're going to shred me. Unless CD can make something happen. No, dude, we were so close. We're going for it. That was so close to a first. How does CD not make that happen? That's tough. Okay, dude. Wow, we just got roasted CD. Come on. I'm feeding you out here. Well, I mean, okay, we get the ball to start the second half. We're, we just need some stuff to go for us here, dude. I got to go, dude. Dak, we got to roll. We got to roll, Dak. We got to roll, Dak. Block the ball. Up to the 45. I Hey, I had to roll out there. I had to roll out. My God, dude. Nick Bose is a monster. Ripping through double teams like nothing. That's insane, dude. Nick Bosa is insane. Oh, my God, no. St. Felix, are you insane? That's maybe a touchdown. Peoples-Jones with it. Donovan Peoples-Jones with it for the touchdown. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Get points right before the halftime. Get points right before the halftime. I'll take it. Ah, uh, it's that time, right? We just gotta feed. We just gotta feed Elliot, dude. Oh, why did I juke? I, I didn't think that guy was gonna pick him up. That was a touchdown. Uh, okay, dude. An inaccurate pass when we're in field goal range. God dang it. All right, well, our, I mean, our defense, I don't know if they... Have they gotten one stop where they haven't allowed a point? I, I, I don't think it's it's happened, I don't think. St. Felix up to the 45. We got to go quick, though. Game's winding down. I mean, we got to move. We got to move. Check it down to Elliott. Let him do his thing. Get Oh, wow, dude. Look at how he can turn up field. Oh my god, Nick Bosa's in the zone? Really? Ah, uh, stop that though, dude. Stop that though. Ah, uh, we... Okay, Felix, it's man coverage, I believe, for ye. Fit it in there. Ah, uh, we got it to the one? No! Duh. Oh. That's a nasty grab, Peoples Jones. That's on Sherman. My God, Peoples Jones showing up here, dude. He wasn't even one of our main guys. Somehow he ended up on our practice squad. Making plays in the playoffs, dude. Making plays in the playoffs. Love to see that. We get a score. Oh, man. Can we get a stop, though? I mean, game's nearly over. We have to see. We have to see. Extra points, good. Two-yard rush, negative. Sack, please get off the field. Defense. Defense, yes. We needed a clutch stop. You get me one. I appreciate it. Usually it's a, 
it's like not a real slant. It's like a kind of a double slant, but this is just a straight slant from Amari. That's nasty. Amari gets taken down at the 25. Come on, Amari, run away a little bit. There we go. Up to the 42. All right, a minute 50. We do want to chew some clock, though. We don't want to leave them much time at all. Elliot just won his route so much. Give me that truck, Elliot. Get it to him. Amari gets to the 30. We got to go hurry up mode. We don't have to, but we uh, again, we want to leave him with as little time as possible. Get out of bounds. Look at that play, dude. Come on. Man, every time I want to go freaking screen pass, they hit me with a look that looks like man. Like, that looks like man to me. I can't. Get it to our tight end. Dude, breaks a tackle. Time to start using timeouts. Time to start using timeouts. Oh, man. Nick Bosa is going to get a monster pass rush. Guaranteed. A throw by Dak. Come on. And what a grab by our tight end Schultz. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We gotta put this on normal speed. It is. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Please just get a stop defense. 20 seconds. Intercepted. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Run that clock out. It's out. It is over. We get a win against San Francisco. Wild card round. Crazy game. That's probably one of the hardest games we would play this playoff series. We get the done against San Fran. Dirty game. Dirty game. Can't lie. CD made some insane plays. Also made some kind of tough plays. But he's in year one. Actually, no. This is year two for him. But I expect his next performance to be monstrous oh man we're playing seattle we are playing freaking seattle here they get a 3-0 lead let's see what we can do with elliot ah uh, we just gotta stay away from wagner hey come on elliot give me that juke move that's nasty elliot elliot rips it to the 32 Ah, tight end. There we go. What a grab. What a grab. Dude, this offense just seems like we can fly. Like, we can literally do anything we want here. Okay. Booker gets in there for the sack, man. All right, I kind of like this look. I kind of like this look. I kind of like this look. CD. Okay, man. CD, can, can you make a play for me? Okay, this is where it's going to get real tough, dude. Third and 20. That's open to Elliot. How did we... Oh, my God. Was that Bobby Wagner? Who just roasted my life? We get a little turnover of our own, but my God, dude. What happened there? I didn't even see Wagner on the play. No, man, we had someone wide open. Now we got to settle for a field goal. Gosh. Well, we're going to... Oh, wow, they turned it over. That's huge. That's massive. Defense comes up big. Come on, Amari. Let's, let's work him over here. Who's on Amari like glue? Quentin Dunbar? Get out of my face. You ain't on Amari like glue? Oh, God. I have a... Serious problem with that one. Let's go, Dak. Let's go, Dak. Come on, man. Too easy. Too freaking easy. All right. We get the ball to start the second half. We get the touchdown there. I'm feeling pretty good about it, dude. We might make a roll here in year two. We'll see. Oh, my God, dude. What are they doing? Are they just literally repeatedly throwing turnovers? We're just getting the ball back. 
I'll take touchdowns. I'll take TDs. That's insane. Wagner hit six every play. I had to block the ball there. That's nasty. That is nasty. And I can assure you that didn't happen when I played for Seattle. Oh, Fisk. What a play. What a play, Fisk. What a play, Fisk. Did you see him just fight forward with them hands? That's what I need for my tight end. Look at that. As he tries to rip it out. Dude, we're going to get another shot. Um, I, what is Seattle doing here? If, if I was them, I'd have just ran the clock out. They're literally giving us another shot. Hey, uh, I'll take it. No. Man, 45's quick, whoever that is. How does Amari drop that, though? How does Amari drop that, though? Amari. He got out of bounds, dude, at the 35. Oh, we got a shot. We got a shot. A pretty good one, in fact. My God, that's like three straight turnovers for Dallas, dude. And, I mean, for Seattle. And we capitalize off of all of them. Or, I guess Elliott's going out. Pollard's coming in for a play. So, we'll see what he can do. No. Okay. Well, we throw... Oh, take him out. Please. Okay, I don't think that cost us the game or anything like that but we, we gotta step up can't be making those decisions all right they make it a 14 point game a little bit closer i mean we can still run the ball to be honest though we can still run it to be honest okay elliot's in the zone guys repeating elliot is in the freaking zone guys oh look at that what are we talking here Elliot, my God, in the zone. I mean, did you just see that back juke? Did you just see that back juke? That's insane. I mean, what, what, what? That's, I don't have words. That was one of the nastiest back jukes I've ever seen. Because we we're on full speed move, dude. All right, we're just chewing that clock down. Seattle still made it a 14 point game somehow. There we go. Oh, that another touchdown? Oh my god, Elliot, look at the balance, dude. Oh, Elliot, too easy. My god, look at that hole. Legit, Elliot is putting the team on his back this game. We just gotta feed him, dude. It's over. There's no way Seattle can come out of this. I'll see you guys in the conference championship. Oh man, who are we gonna play, though? Who are we gonna play, though? All right, man, we're playing the Bucs, and they look scary as crap. They still have Tom Brady, and they've added pieces. But it looks like we got another turnover. Our defense is really on one of late. Look at that. Elliot can't be stopped, dude. He just can't be. I mean, my God. He, he just fights through any tackle you try to put on him. He can juke, truck, stiff arm, receive anything. God dang, dude, that's insane. I had to throw it quick. Did you guys see Shaquille Barrett? Get it to him. There we go. Amari. That's a nice throw and grab by Amari. Okay, we're running, dude. We're running, dude. Got the face mask. Vita Via? I mean, what do I do with this box here, guys? That's insane. Amari, I'll run him. There we go, Amari. Get that touchdown. Get that touchdown. Get that touchdown. Yes. Okay, we get a nice little double-digit lead here over Tampa. Let's see if our defense can continue staying hot, real hot. I think if we head outside on Tampa, I, I really don't know if they have a great way of defending it. Yeah. Outside zone's the way to go, man. Up to the 48. I mean, we're just controlling the game right now. We get the ball to start the second half. We play smart here. Should have a decent little lead to come into the second half. There we go, Dak. Now, oh, wow. Felix slips it up to the 19. 
CD. Oh, I wanted to outrun him. Timeout. There we go. Amari, that's so nasty. Amari just wins routes so easily. Such a good route runner. Especially when we compare with CD. Yes, yes. Freaking yes. Dude, okay, that should take us to half. But again, we get the ball to start the second half. So we might just route Tampa here. I mean, it's looking like we legit might route him. I mean, they can't. Oh, my God, Elliot. That's sick. I mean, that's sick. We in the zone. You guys know what's about to happen here. My God, dude. Uh, I thought we were guaranteed to make the next juke work. Mari, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, dude. What is up, Tampa? What's up, Tom? What's up, Gronk? Where are you? Okay, so they they legit can't move against us. That's that's honest. They can't move. And then our offense is just blocking like Stop it. Hey, stop that. Stiff arm to end it up to the 26. Elliot's having a monster day. This is how he ends the year with like 2,000 yards. Elliot, let's get this. One time right here. This ends it 100%. Oh, my God. They stripped it. We get it back, though. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, so we can just kneel it out. I'm pretty sure it's when you're above two scores. So when it gets into that three score, you can kneel it and they won't time out. So we're just going to run the clock down here, get to the Super Bowl, and see what we can do and see who we're playing. Hey, let, let me just throw this in there. It, it's going to be the Browns. It's going to be the freaking Browns. I guarantee it. I haven't seen anything, but I can almost tell you it's going to be the Browns. All right, the time is freaking here, guys. The time is freaking here. Super Bowl against the Texans. All right, against the freaking Texans. We know what we got to do. Elliot's up to the 40. I, I honestly, I just don't know if they can defend our, uh, our running back. No way, CD. Come on, you're waving your hands for it like this. Make a play. Now it is man, this is bad. It's man and they're, oh God. Get it. Oh, he snagged it, dude. That's CD. That is CD. What was that snack? He just, how? Uh, I expect this game to get hairy. I really do. That's anticipation. Come on. Really wanted that touchdown, though. No way. Can we catch him with Dak? That might be a pick six. I just thought Amari could come up with it. Oh, I went for the ankle snatch. Oh, why? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, it's not it's not out of hand, you know. We we're still in it. We're still in it. Just need to calm down a little bit. Just need to calm down a little bit. Pollard, stiff him. Okay, well if we get a touchdown here, we do get the ball to start the second half. There we go, Amari. Nice grab up to the 17. Oh my Amari, that's huge. Just got us the first there. That's huge. I don't like this, dude. I gotta go, though. Give me that touchdown. Okay, we get the touchdown. Took us a hot minute, but we finally get a touchdown. We do get the ball to start the second half, so if we can just, I mean, make something happen. We're at least back in it. Elliot just freaking splitting the seams. Up to the 47. Good lord. Oh, get it to Amari. Amari fights up to the 36. There we go. Nice little run. Nice little run. 
I needed that juke, man. That was a touchdown. We're in the zone, at least with Elliott. Ooh, Pollard. Pollard, dude. All right, nice little mix up in the backfield there with Pollard and Elliott. We need this. We need this. Yes, Pinky. There we go. That's what I needed. We get the touchdown, likely tie it up. That's what I'm talking about, man. Comes up clutch. We get a stop, dude. Let's go. Elliot, oh my god. He just grabbed that. Elliot's a monster. Okay, man, fourth quarter is here in the Super Bowl. I just trucked somebody. I'll take that one. Hey, we need this first real bad right now. Elliot, you're in the zone. You've got to get me it, dude. Elliot got taken down. Did he get the first? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, Elliot. Elliot. Up to the 32. Okay, they're not using timeouts. Just going to chew that clock up, dude. I'm just going to chew that clock on up. I expect them, for whatever reason, they don't use a timeout the first time, but they will the second time from what I've seen. And I guess we'll see right here. Yeah, see, they'll use one there. I don't get it, but okay. Man, I want a first down so bad. I really do. Bite on the read option, dude. I haven't ran it once with Dak. You know what? I'll do it all on my own. I don't need you. Guys. It's over. Hey, uh, we just won the Super Bowl. We can kneel it out. Let's go! I mean, we win the Super Bowl considering we hit the chip shot field goal. Watch now that I said that, though. We just somehow get freaking blocked. Cheese blocked. Uh, just gonna let this run down to about three. Call timeout. Then we'll run out for the field goal. Man, I am a little bit scared. But come on. We have to be able to hit this chip shot. If we can't hit this chip shot, dude, come on. We're at the 13-yard line. Okay. Two seconds timeout. I play, you know what? I, I played close. I played close to the line. Here we go. That may have missed. How did I almost miss that, dude? I was literally, that was bad. But we get the Super Bowl win. Hey, we get the Super Bowl win with Dallas. How long has it been, bro? How long has it been, bro? We get it with Dallas, though, in year two. I was, I was, uh, CD, I mean, he made some plays, but to be honest, I was hoping he would have made some more huge plays, but he did make some great plays, like the one where he dove out for that grab. He made some nice ones, but I'd say the monster of this rebuild had to be Elliott. I mean, he was a straight monster. There was no stopping him. When he entered the zone, good luck. Hey, good luck. Elliott better win player of the game. That's all I know. That's all I know. I know I didn't throw a great game with Dak either. Yeah, we had a great mix-up, too, with Pollard in there. Elliot. Yes. I, I Houston was playing as tough, too. Make sure you guys do leave in the comment section below who you guys do want to see next. And I'll make sure to shout you guys out at the start of that video as well. Oh, come on, dude. How's Dak win it? With 119 yards, a touchdown, and two picks? I don't know about that one, dude. I don't know about that one, dude. But we get the W here. Let's see who's up on the podium. We got Elliot Prescott, Amari. Who is that? Jalen Smith? Yes. Okay. Got all the big names up here. Oh, I'd like to see CD up here, to be honest with you. Dak holding up that Lombardi, though. So let me know what you guys did think of the rebuild. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure you hit that sub button. That really would be greatly appreciated. I really did enjoy this rebuild. It was a fun one. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.